Welcome back. Since we're going pink all week for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, uh, right now we wanted to talk a little bit about how the disease can impact the entire family. And for that, I want to bring in mental health counselor and parenting expert, Mary Francis. You're back with us today. Thank you for coming. My Good pleasure. morning. Good morning. I know this is a really sensitive, tough topic to talk about. How do you tell your children, um, or how does a parent tell a child that you've been diagnosed with something like breast cancer? Um, I think I, in talking to other mental health professionals, it's a hard thing to do, but there's, I, we talk about the four C's with cancer. What you want to do is you want to make sure you tell them that it's cancer, mm -hmm. not that um, the, you're sick or it's other things because they want, the child has to understand that it's specifically cancer. And that brings us to the next C, which is um, the child can't catch cancer. Mm -hmm. It's not like the flu because children are very um, black and white thinkers and if they hear illness, right. They think that that's something they, they might catch. Sick. Right. And what are some typical emotional responses to expect from your child so you as a parent can be prepared? I, al I always talk about a color system. Um, blue is obviously sad. The child might be just like us, very sad and have tears, which is okay. Um, red, angry, or yellow, cautious. Um, you might see your child because of, it's a traumatic experience to hear your parent has cancer it will spill into other parts of their lives and they might not be able to want, want to do things that they used to be able to do because they're fearful. And going back to the C's, right. um, you mentioned two C's, are there two other C's yes, as well? Yes, so there's, it's cancer. Mm -hmm. um, they did not cause it. It's not their fault. Some kids often think, and even as adults we might not think it, that I did something wrong to cause this. I acted out in school and now look what happened to my parent. And the last C is care. So how our parents or how is the extended family and support system mm -hmm. going to care for the child or the children throughout the you know, cancer treatment? So who's going to cook for them? Who's going to put them to bed? Who's going to help them with their homework? Who's going to help them do the things that they have to do every day? It really is a life-changing experience. Yes, I know one right. of my friend's mothers had breast cancer and it was right. just as hard for her to tell her daughter and just as hard as my friend to I know. digest what was happening. Right. Um, and what, at what point do you ask for professional help for your children? I mean, I think, it, and I work with a lot of families who you know, have gone through this, it really depends on the culture of the family. Some people just uh, look to a mental health expert for support, ideas, a plan, mm -hmm. um, even though the child is showing some typical emotional responses. But however, I would say if there's severe regression, if the child is you know, constantly crying or constantly fearful where it's impacting their everyday life to an extreme, then I would go seek some support. And mm -hmm. I feel like sometimes people might shy away from the word expert or, right. you know, they don't want help. Mm -hmm. They can do it themselves, right. but it's okay to go get help sometimes. It's okay to get help. Nothing to be ashamed of. It's nothing to be ashamed of. It's really good to seek that support out. Okay. Well, yeah. thank you so much, Mary. My nice pleasure. to see you again. Love the pink shirt, Thank too. you. <laughs> Emily, on over to you.